Gary, a bad night at the office. Was it just a case of being punished by a very good team? Yeah, I think it was a bad night in moments. I think we gave bad goals away tonight and we found the teams at the top of this league have a, a level of speed, of physicality, of ruthlessness that if you give them even half chances, then they punish you. And I thought in periods we played well. I thought we started the game really well. The first goal you know, hit us quite hard. I thought we recovered from it better than we did a few weeks ago against Bristol Rovers here. And then the second goal was a really bad time. Uh, start the second half, it, we, we couldn't get going in, in the second half, but uh, I thought the players gave everything, I thought their attitude was excellent, I thought they worked extremely hard, they, they tried to to create problems for Derby in possession, we created the overload at times, we played through, we just couldn't really penetrate that last line and create enough moments in the final third to, to hurt them. Even at 3-0 down when the game was lost, there was still you know monumental effort from the players, Dion was you know, desperate to put delivery in the box. Yannick was really lively. And that must be pleasing to see that even though the game is lost, the players are still, you know, giving everything. Yeah, like I said, I can't fault their effort and their, their endeavour and the way they tried to, to win the game from the start. And then obviously when we went behind, they kept going. So uh, all credit to the players for that. They, they dug in, they, they, they tried to, to keep playing and create opportunities. We actually did create good moments. I felt a 2 0, even a goal would have, would have changed the game. But uh, I think we've learned against the best teams you have to be perfect, you can't give them anything or, or they will punish you uh, and it's a lesson we have to take and, and recover and move on for Saturday. You know, at times it was fine margins, Jack Aitchison, as you've called him, the unluckiest player in the league, hits the post, it's a you know, different game. Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought Jack Aitchison was outstanding tonight, the way he moved, he picked up the ball in, in really dangerous areas. He, he worked his socks off, he went from a 10 to an 8 to a 6. Uh, he was fantastic and a little bit unlucky with his shot that came off the post. He had a, a other moments in and around the box, but uh, like I said, everyone you know gave everything they had. and I just think we, we found a team that you know when they got their chances, they punished us tonight. And we, we have to take that, we have to learn from it, and we have to be better on Saturday. In terms of squad selection and the substitutions you made, Recent performances have it's been a huge exertion on the on the players' bodies. But was a lot of that based on, you know, the, the amount of games, the amount of game time that that some of these players have had? Yeah, look, I think you always have the dilemma as a manager that you know, do you ride the wave and keep the team that's winning and playing well? Do you make changes of people who are fresh? And uh, we made one change tonight from Saturday. We we got the finishers on pretty early to, to one get their minutes, two save some of the players that have been playing uh, more. Uh, often than not so uh, I think we've got a squad that we have to see tomorrow how they recover Thursday Friday we train and prepare for Lincoln and you know try and get get a victory again try and get back to to winning ways but I think they can take lessons from that they, they shouldn't be too down at how they perform but they have to learn the lessons of of what top teams do and how they win games at this level we kind of said it there that we've played worse this season and won games yeah I think we have but I think in moments we, ha we had to be better tonight and, and we have to recognise that against the top team. So uh, when we win, like we did on Saturday, we, we analysed the game, we found moments where we could be better. I thought we were much better in position tonight. We had a, a control in the, from the back to the middle that was very good. How we then penetrate the last line and how we then create chances, I think we can be better. So there's always areas to improve and uh, the players you know, have shown a great... Uh, kind of desire to do that throughout the season but they can still take a lot of heart from tonight I thought they, they gave everything to, to win the game so it's it's not all doom and gloom we have to recover and be ready for Saturday and, and just to finish there then that game at, at Lincoln we've already shown that we can bounce back from defeat as we did against Bristol Rovers to then go on and win another two games there's, there's no reason why we can't bounce back this time no, and, and we've got a good group now we've got a lot of players who are eager to play we have to assess everyone tomorrow or Thursday uh, and then pick a squad and a team that can go to Lincoln and win. So, um, you know, that's, that's down to the hard work of the staff the next few days, recovering everyone and then preparing uh, to travel again and, and travel in hopefully numbers in terms of supporters and travel with a real optimism that, that, that we can win on Saturday.